Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number six of our Capitalism Lab, Sean Co. Let's Play. It is September of 1997. Our company has $13 million, and when we left off, we were looking at buying another factory here in uh, Hamburg. Uh, but right now, I am looking at my phone, trying to get the timer started, so I don't run this video for too long. There we go, the timer started. You know, normally I like to do that before I start the video, but uh, this time I forgot. I forget quite often, as a matter of fact. It's too bad I can't, like, link it up in here. You know what? I don't need to be spending all this money on advertising. I meant to cut back on all my advertising uh, around around in general, but I didn't on the last episode. I don't think you actually cap out at 100. I think that your uh, brand can go uh, uh, pretty much indefinitely, but uh, I don't remember. Um, but right now our brand is really strong and our uh, quality is really high. So we can cut back on advertising and focus that money on uh, increased production and other things along those lines. Um, what uh, what did we build for our new factory over here? I think we were building sofas, right? So we are not selling all of our sofas out of this factory. That's good because I wanted to be able to produce more. This factory is making chairs, so it's irrelevant to our problem. Here we go, sofa. We are still selling all the sofas out of this factory. Um, so, I am going to link our flagship store to the other sofa supplier. We're going to link. We're going to link to Factory 4, which has too much supply and not enough demand. Select. There we go. How are our prices? Prices are nice and holding strong. Very good overall rating. Um... I still don't quite... Red Bar tells the market share for this product in the current city. How do I get my market share higher? Hmm. Who knows? I guess uh, I'd want to find that out if I wanted to keep playing, uh, like, keep increasing difficulty levels or something like that. But, you know, I feel like we're doing pretty good uh, as it is. Um, all right, so these guys are still only utilized at like 26%, 28%. Let's see whether our stock is increasing or decreasing as time goes by. Probably help if the time is going by a little faster. Stock is decreasing. Well, all right, it seems like the stock is not accumulating. And demand is creeping up on supply. Yeah, there, look at that. Creepity creep. So we, gosh, we still are not able to keep up with the, the demand for our sofas. But we will be able to as these guys uh, increase in, uh, uh, as they as they level up, basically. Uh, but that means that this store should have no problem keeping up on sofas. And actually might be able to start putting some into inventory. As seen right there. Nope. Or not. But that's good because uh, maybe the maybe the demand will go down and and not outstrip supply here. It's hard to say. Hard to say. So what are we gonna do now? I think we need to start building more chairs because I, I feel like the chair factory. First off, it's not that advanced, which is a surprise. Um, but the uh, supply of chairs is not meeting the demand. So if we come over here. And we build a large chair factory. Can I just copy this factory? I, uh, that would be nice because it uses much of the same. It uses timber, cotton, and linen, if I remember. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to save this. Nope. I want to save this as a layout. Um, no, 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 no. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to save it as a layout. How do I do that again? I know you can. No. Do I? Nope, that doesn't do it. That's for sure. All right, we go in here. No. Um, only show layouts with inputs available. User defined. Uh-huh. Uh, add. There we go. 
There we go. Add sofa. Perfect. Use. Well, I don't need to use it. Um, I guess that's it, right? So I just add the sofa. Then I exit. Great. So now for the new factory, uh, which I will build right next door, uh, and I have enough money for it, so I'm going to do that. It's going to be a large factory. It's going to be right there. And we're going to use the sofa factory. No. Because I don't want to actually... Whoops. Oh, you're killing me. No, no, no. Let's, let's see. Will that do it? No, that won't do it. All right. Let's just go with my firms. One, two, three. Why isn't it showing... Why doesn't it show my factories in there? All right. You're purchasing timber. You're purchasing cotton, I think. But you are going to purchase textiles. Or uh, linen. That's what you're going to purchase is linen. Linen, timber, and cotton. Oh. Hey. Who are you selling cotton in my city? I'm the cotton king! All right, now this should make chairs. Perfect. And let's get some chairs into into our sales area. And then we're going to switch you to chairs, please. You're going to link. And you're going to link up to this one. There we go. Now we've got some chairs coming out. Exciting new chairs. Just, just fantastic. R&D is still being completed. I guess that was a while ago, September of 97. That was quite a while ago, actually. How's the uh, stock market looking? We haven't looked in here for a while. My stock is slowly recovering. Target strike is on its way down. Maybe I want to buy up a little more of that. Let's just buy a million dollars worth. I keep buying a million dollars worth at a time, and it's really not, uh, not really proven to be that great a deal. This one is uh, looking like a good deal, though. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to have Sean buy some of that. Sean, why don't you buy some of that? Because there's none available to the public. Well, that's too bad. Uh, what do I own? I own this Duo Power. Might not be a bad idea to sell that right now. Um, but I'm not going to. How about I go back to Sean Co. There we go. And uh, look at you. Maybe invest some money in any of these? Nope. Oh, your loop stock is definitely increased in value that is a pretty good deal i could sell all this stock except for the target strike i could sell these stocks that are so valuable and uh you know what because the market is inevitably going to go down so why don't i sell all these stocks that are so valuable and then i can invest that money in something more appropriate for a uh, why is this only recording at like 16 frames per second is that just how many frames per second this game runs at yeah, those cars are not very smooth, I'll tell you that. Huh. How about at the furthest zoom? Nope. Doesn't really make any difference. That's fascinating, this number that you guys can't see. I'm sure you're pretty excited that I keep talking about it. Well, I've got $30 million now. What am I going to do with that money? Uh, partly, I'm going to buy back some of my own stock, I think. Let's go back to the stock market. Let's um, not borrow money. That's not the stock market at all. Where, oh, duh, it was where I already was. Okay, let's go back to my own personal stock here. And we're going to buy some of it back from, it looks like Monique has the largest share. But let's uh, let's keep our ambitions modest here. Still, wait, wait, what? There we go. Still 3.5 million, so that'd be like $7 million we're going to have to spend here. But I will, I'll do it. I'll buy, I want to buy back some of my own stock. So now... I'm up to 65% personally invested. Uh, that's not bad. How about Sean personally buying some of this stock back up? Uh, whoa, that was too little. I'll buy like 2 million, and you will sell it to me for 5 million. You really want a uh, big chunk of cash for your share, don't you there, friendo? And I say that because you're not really a very good friendo at all. 1.2 million for 2.7, all right. Seems like I have no choice. And now, Brad, how about I offer you that much for that much? I'll take it. Tiny little share, but that's all right. It's a tiny little, you move a little bit here and a little bit there, next thing you know, 
you own the entire company. So okay, what else can I do for Hamburg? Can I put in another furniture store? We have that one and that one. And I have one over here, right? Yep, that one. I guess I could put one in over here, maybe. Feels like I'd be kind of uh, kind of crowding things in if I did that. Um, hmm. How's um, how's how's the supply of chairs to this store? Uh, not quite keeping up. Actually, how's the supply of sofas doing? Because they're coming in from that other sofa factory. The supply is definitely not keeping up. The sofa factory is. Yep, the demand is very high. Uh, but these guys will, you know, they'll get their act together, I, th I think. I have faith. How's this sofa factory doing over here? It's probably building in, ex in uh, excess. That's a timber. I mean, that's a bed factory anyways. Nope, we don't have an excess, but we do. The demand is lower than the supply, so uh, we should start getting an excess here. And then I can I can switch some buyers around um, to get those uh, get those other stores better supplied. So we're inventorying plenty of chairs here. So maybe I want to go ahead and switch this one over. You know what? Why don't I switch this one over to buy? Well, because it's further away. That's why not. So let's stick with this one. And we are going to switch our chair supplier to the other chair supplier right there. Chair supply select. And uh, that'll help us clean uh, that stock out a little bit. Keep things flowing better. Is there any way I can bump up my bed production? Not by looking at the chair factory, that's for sure. Mm, I don't think so. I could if I got rid of my linen inventory, uh, which, you know, I really don't need a linen inventory thing. So let's uh, turn you off. And uh, we're going to turn turn you to... Well, let's let's just hold off here for a minute. Actually, I guess I could hold off here and keep you going like that, and then maybe just run you dry. That's going to take forever because nobody really buys linen. And then we're going to switch this over to a manufacturing cell. Ah, you know what? Screw it. Just throw it all away. We're going to sales. And you're going to manufacturing. And you're going to click there. And you're going to do that. And you're going to go in an X shape. There we go. And we're going to reconnect those. And now something has gone wrong. Uh, yeah, my supply of linen has stopped. I get it. Um, so, uh, how, it, it, uh, for crying out loud. Link, linen. And... Nope, it's this factory up here. There it is. It's not that one though. It's that one. Link, linen, very good. Don't think there's gonna be any shortages there. And now we're manufacturing more beds. Still not gonna be able to keep up with the demand for beds, but uh, better than we were before, I guess. These guys are all being utilized at 100%. That's nice. You, on the other hand, are not. How would I do that better? I guess I could have two sales divisions and six manufacturers making beds and selling them through there. How is uh, all of our farm stuff? Yeah, we are not getting rid of that cotton, that's for sure. And we are not stockpiling any leather, which is interesting. You'd think that would be we would be processing more leather than we can uh, than we can know what to do with. Do I need to actually raise more cattle? Huh. I I guess I do. So that means I will only be able to do two uh, exports. And then I'll, I can set up, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's what I got to do. So livestock raising, raise livestock, cattle. 
We're going to put you there. Process leather. I don't think you were working at 100%. I don't know that you're going to be able to keep up with two of those either. I mean, I think that's going to overextend you, basically, if, if uh, you have to do two. You're going to be at 100% utilization, and these guys are going to drop uh, their efficiency. Uh, but uh, whatever. I feel feel fine with that. How's this store doing? So you are getting beds from the classic place, but that's all right, because that's the only place that's making beds. Supply is not keeping up. You're getting sofas from the new factory, and they're not keeping up. And you're getting chairs from the new factory, but they are keeping up. It's probably because they're still working through their, uh, still working through their back stock. So we have two clients, right? Okay, that's good. Hmm. And this factory, two clients. I guess, is it first come, first serve or something as far as inventory is concerned? I don't know. So many mysteries. So many things to worry about that probably don't even matter. We aren't selling them. Like, nobody else is buying our chairs, right? It's just us. Okay, that's good. We do have them set to internal sales. But all that moolah. Oh, wait. I said I wasn't ever going to use that word again. It's forbidden. Why would you build a farm? Doesn't even make sense. So I can't quite squeeze in another store because I just don't have the money for it. I, building a factory in another town and then importing the lumber from here. I just I don't know how that could be. Uh, profitable, but if I build a factory in another town and can't import the lumber from here, what am I going to do with that factory, right? Like, and, and that's... I mean, I guess the factory is only like $3 million. And we're going to have to find out what happens anyways. So, let's find out. We'll build a factory here in Bordeaux. Maybe. Do I want to go in Bordeaux, or do I want to go in uh, Lisboa? Let's take a look. So Lisboa has a population that is not listed on here. Bordeaux is slightly wealthier, right? 77, 79. I know that you can look at the world map. There we go. Population, Bordeaux and Lisboa. Um, so I guess we're going to want to go with uh, Lisboa just because of the higher population. We could go to Chengdu, but it's going to be harder to sell uh, sell chairs there. Huh, interesting. Map seed. And, you know, that's weird. Um, so, yeah, let's go to Lisboa. There we go. And uh, that's not the button that closes that. I guess that closes that. Weird. You are a weird, weird game. Um, is there no downtown for Lisboa? There's the downtown area. Look at that. So much going on. Okay, let's, uh, let's set a factory up. I don't know, somewhere around here. Um and look at potentially losing a couple million dollars. Do I want to go with the, I should just go with the large factory from the very start. It's $2 million to buy that large factory. It's gonna be $12 million to buy the land, but we can always sell the land back. That's not a big deal. Does it get any cheaper? It does get a little bit cheaper. There we go. So if we set up a purchasing unit and then we link to all cities, and we buy timber. Timber. 60 cents. Freight charge, 39 cents. It's pretty cheap. All right. Let's give it a shot. So you're purchasing timber. That's probably not the best spot for you. Um, Let's set you up here. Purchasing. And we're going to purchase timber. And we're going to turn you into manufacturing. And how are we going to do this? I still want to have some inventory. We could set sales there. If we do inventory here, we could do manufacturing like this.
right? And then we do inventory, inventory, sales. And we're going to do that. This one is going to be a cross as well. That's also a diagonal cross. There we go, like that. Like that. No, you don't go like that. You go like that. You are connected. Great. You're connected there. Bed, inventory, sales. Bed, inventory. Okay, so like that. Like that. Like that. There. And there. Okay, good. So I should be able to hit all of those. And now we're going to put a a uh, retail store of the furniture store variety in downtown, beautiful downtown Lisboa. It's very expensive, but it's going to be a, be a very busy store. So we're just going to do, as a matter of fact, we will do that fun uh, predefined purchase inventory sales, but we're going to use number two with the advertising. There we go. And we're going to link you up to that one right there. Great. And let's see what the price of this bed is going to be once it starts selling. Not very popular in this city yet because we need to link up the media and it gets some popularity going. So two twenty-six for twenty-six or three dollars for thirty-three. Twenty-six to thirty-three. That is um, one. Or that's like seven points more, so that's about a quarter more, and it costs seventy-five cents. So it's pretty pretty proportionate. So we're just going to go with the newspaper. We're going to select the media. I'll pay a hundred thousand dollars a month. I can afford that. And boy, there goes all of our money. <laughs> but we are going to be able to build another. Um, now I wonder what it would cost to purchase. Let's look at all cities. Oh, from a seaport in Chengdu. Interesting. Um, so I could buy it from Hamburg. Well, no, that's weird. So the price is almost the same to buy it from Hamburg as it is to buy it here in Lisboa. Oh, boy, my factory here in Lisboa is terrible. Oh, it's because of the brand. Now, why doesn't the brand carry over? And the freight charges, freight charge really isn't that expensive to bring it in from Hamburg. You would think it would be a lot more expensive than that. Huh. That's a little expensive for the sofa. But it all seems to be kind of proportionate, doesn't it? Twenty, Approximately 25% of the price here. And approximately one-sixth the price there. Hmm. I don't know. So it almost seems like it would be worth... Well, I mean, it, it is worth it because I have all this excess supply that I can't sell. So setting up this bed factory here might have been um, wasteful. Uh, on the other hand, I can sell them to the other city as well. Um, but I'm sure you heard in the background that timer going off. Maybe you didn't because I don't actually have it up that loud. Um, but that means that this episode is over with for today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching. I've enjoyed playing and learning, too. I'm still figuring this game out, I guess. Uh, I mean, it has been several years since I played it, but I don't know that I've ever done international stuff like that. Um, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Click the like button down below. Uh, keep watching if we get a decent number of views per episode on this. And uh, for me, I mean, that's like... You know, by the time this series wraps up, if we have like 50, 80 views on the first few episodes and like 30 views kind of in the middle of the series, uh, I'll be pretty happy with that. Actually, I'll probably be pretty happy if we have dozens of views in the middle of the series, to be honest. Uh, but let's find out. Just keep watching. And uh, if you guys like this and we get decent views, I will do another series and probably do a little better in the next uh, go round. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, leave some comments in the comment area. And now we are going to end the episode. Goodbye.